It's post time for the first of two eliminations for next Saturday's $225,000 Berries Creek. Three-year-old Pace, top five finishers return for the final. They're at the post, and here they come. And they're off. Westbound train is put into play early by Andy Miller. He's pacing out for the front. Red Stingray from the inside of second. Sandro Hanover takes an easy early tuck on the inside third. Royal Man will look to settle fourth. And it's General Bailey. Artistic Fellow is six to his outside. And Bono Bess intent on racing off the pace tonight is at the back trailing the field. So they settle into straight alignment. And westbound train with that quick gate move looks to back into him. So Red Stingray will take this opportunity to loop around him and move to the front and the quarter was soft and only 28 and 4, so Red Stingray is now in front. Sandro Hanover sits in third, and here comes Campbell with Royal Man, and General Bailey is gapped badly, so Artistic Fella and Bono Best put in a tough spot after that soft opening quarter as Royal Man paces on for John Campbell and clears the lead before the half-mile marker. Red Stingray is muscled back in the second spot. Westbound train third, Sandro Hanover two lengths further back fourth. Artistic Fella is moving up, he's fifth. General Bailey sixth on the inside. A half and 56 and two, and Bono Best is on the move on the outside, following the cover of Artistic Fella, and they waited for Sandro Hanover, who now commits first over. So Sears makes a move with Sandro Hanover. He's up into third, just two lengths from Royal Man as they near the three-quarter marker. Artistic Fella looms the danger, well spotted second over, and Bono Best rides that live draft. He's third over, just four lengths from the lead as Royal Man hits three quarters in 124 and three. Sandro Hanover on the outside, trying to wear him down there. Red Stingray is jammed in behind the leader. Second over is Artistic Fella. He starts to edge three wide, and Bono Best is following him. He's now fifth on the outside. Sandro Hanover between horses. Artistic Fella, the fresh threat, is charging hard on the outside. Artistic Fella with the better trip just zips by to the lead, and he wins. Barry's Creaky, Lim one. Sandro Hanover second. Bono Best third. Royal Man fourth. And Westbound Train, the final qualifier, 151 and 2. Artistic fella pays 840, 260, and 220. Finishing second was number two, Sandro Hanover, 240 and 210. And third, number seven, Bono Best, 220 to show. Tonight's daily double, two and five, 6760. Exact of five and two, 1860. The $1 trifecta, 527, pays $19.70. Certainly a big final three quarters for Artistic Fella, the Suslo champion, who wins the first Barry's Creek Elim. He's by Pacific Fella, out of Everything's Easy by Arts Place, owned by Joe Alberano of New Egypt, New Jersey. Steve Elliott does the training, and the driver of the week, Ron Pierce, is in the sulky. Artistic Fella, 151-2 and two in Elim number one. In the upcoming third race, the second Barry's Creek Elim, there are no changes. Exacta, trifecta, choose six and pick three wagering. No changes in the upcoming pick three, 15 minutes away from third post at 8.09.